Hey Isaac, did you just walk by that pill? You think that pills are bad? No my friend, pills are actually very good and here's the reason why. First of all, a lot of the pills might have effects which you might not even be aware of. If you take a any stats upgrade and a downgrade pill and you take them both together, what you're gonna be left with is a higher stat point average as opposed if you didn't take anything at all. So if you take a tears up and a tears down, you're gonna actually be left with a tears upgrade of 0.07. Or did you know, for example, that telepills not only has a chance of teleporting you to a random room and the I am error room, but it also has a very small chance of teleporting you to the black market, like undefined. Or did you know the difference between the infested pill and the infested pill, with the one with the exclamation mark and the question mark? With the exclamation mark, it destroys all the poops in the rooms and gives you a single blue spider for every single poop that you've destroyed. But the infested one with the question mark spawns a blue spider for every enemy in the room. Likewise, with one makes you small and one makes you larger, the one makes you small, they both decrease or increase your sprite size, but only the one makes you small actually decreases your hitbox, while one makes you larger just makes it appear so that you have a larger hitbox, but in fact it stays the same. And maybe the most important one of all, you might think that the I'm excited pill is a really bad one, but when you look at the stats, when you use it, it increases the speed of all enemies in for the duration of the particular room that you're in, and that effect triggers again after 30 seconds, and again after 60 seconds, so if you look at the time on when you use the I'm excited pill, you can be in a room which doesn't have any enemies, and you don't have to suffer any speed up because of that. So I might say, these are some neat facts, but why does that mean I should always use the pills? And for that I prepared this spreadsheet, and what this does is categorizes every single pill in three different distinct categories. First one is bad, and those are pills which are just always bad, they never have a positive effect. The situational pills are pills which can either have a positive effect or a negative one, it depends on the circumstances or maybe how much health you have or things like that. I included retrovision here even though it doesn't have necessarily a negative effect, just because it does really mess up with some people's vision and that can maybe throw you off your game. And this last category is a good category and doesn't that doesn't necessarily include just the pills which uh, are good but that also includes the pills which you would be happy to take because they have either no effect or have an effect which doesn't negatively affect you. And if you take a look at all of the stats and how they're distributed, you, you will find out that there are actually 64% good pills or pills which wouldn't have a negative effect on you, and there are only 25% of pills which actually always have a negative effect on the player as a whole. So that, that's a good indication that in the average case it's probably a good idea to take the pill even though you might know what it is, and maybe another stat or thing to consider here is that even when you take a bad pill you've already identified it and then you don't have to use it again and what's even better once you've identified a bad pill when you use the next unknown pill it actually increases the chance of that being a positive pill so at this point you might be saying, well this is all fine and dandy, but really, I don't like using pills. Whenever I use them, it, it's a negative effect, I get a bad trip pill, I get a speed down, I don't like them, I'm not gonna use pills, I paid for the game, I'm gonna play it how I like. And that's that's one way of looking at things, but another way you, you can look at things is that if you don't use a pill, you're actually losing out on value. So let's say you have a box, and whenever you press a button on that box, there's a chance it gives you $10, or there's a chance that you're going to lose $5. So if you go with this metal, methodology in mind, you would never press the button because there's always a chance that you're gonna be losing money. But if you look at it and if you press the button long enough, eventually, statistically likely, it's gonna become that you're gonna get your money back and not just your money back but you're gonna be in profit so you really need to look at this as if you don't take a pill you're gonna be left off negatively in the majority of the runs you, you might never notice that tears upgrade but i can tell you a random tears upgrade can help you a lot more than a random tears downgrade can damage you that's my opinion but th this is also substituted by the fact that the tears upgrade pill is just much more effective and gives you more tears up than a tears down gives you a tears down so that's yet another example of why I think you should always use pills. Sure, there are some examples or situations where you wouldn't want to use them. For example, if you're the keeper and you have two health, you never generally want to use a pill because you can get a speed down and that really hurts the keeper, but also you can get a health down upgrade and that's gonna hurt your health and you're gonna only have one hit remaining. So at this point you might be saying, how can I maximize the efficiency with which I use my pills? And for that I have the following example. 
So let's say that you're in a position where you find an unknown pill and maybe you want to use it in the most optimal way possible. How can you do that? Well, you first of all, you have to imagine that that unknown pill is essentially every single pill at the same time. So what you have to do is find a situation where using one pill is not only going to cover one case, but you can do something else if it happens to be another pill. So let me give you an example. If you encounter a secret room or a potential secret room, you might use the pill thinking maybe it's a horror pill or maybe it's an explosive diarrhea pill and in that case you might find the secret room but let's say that there's another room adjacent to that secret room which has a tinted rock in it in that case it's ba it's a better idea to use your random pill in that position because that particular room if it happens to be an explosive diarrhea you can get both the secret rock the tinted rock and the secret room with just one pill and of course this goes for every other pill in the game as well and what you can consider is maybe use it in a room that has the most poops as well as secret room because that can give you the most benefit out of the infested pill or maybe go into a room where there's a potential for you to walk over spikes or some obstacles because if it's a power pill or a feels like I'm walking on sunshine pill you can get over the spikes and get a consumable or something like that or maybe what you can consider before you even use the pill is to reduce your health to half a red health without spirit Hearts, because in that case what happens is that a bad trip pill becomes a full health pill so you just remove one negative pill out of the pool altogether and what a lot of people don't realize is that a health down pill if you only have one red health, health container becomes a health up pill so if you're in a situation we only have half of a red health and only one red health container there's practically no reason not to use the pill and at that point it's just about how to get the maximum efficiency out of the pill that you use and I hope that there's a few examples that I just came up with uh, will help you and encourage you to use the pills in the future. So Isaac, do you now see why you should always try to use the pills whenever you can?